I gotta say though, that guy on the left with that helmet, he's looking not so cool. <laughs> Ladder Shot Nova, Big Swig Roller, Snipe Rider. I hope I have enough to buy all these. Wait, there's actually a lot of weapons. Hello? Brine Water Springs. That's the one. See, the reason I remember Brine Water is because Barry pronounced it Brin Water and I couldn't unsee it. Ooh, ooh, let's see what, what we get. Let's see what items we get in the store. Wait, what is that? I don't want to buy that. That's so expensive. <gasps> Whoa, I'm on Sea Snail Man. I have all the sea snail mans. <laughs> Out of all the things it could give me, they give me this one? My Mr. I'm gonna I'm about to start a poetry ring, like po poet po po poetry po poet circle poetry reading jam poet poetry jam 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 is that the word? Jam? Alright. Oh my god, alright. We just gotta... You know, I really should read this, because these are all new weapons. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure it out. It's fine. What could go wrong? There's so many speech bubbles layered on top of each other. You see all those speech bubbles? All right, I'm gonna buy this. I'm definitely getting the forge. The carbon seemed like it's really fun. I'm buying all the new weapons, so I'll take the snipe rider. This, I don't care about. <laughs> Big swing roller. The junior looks really good. I want the... See, I love the color of this. Wait, why is it only blue? Where's my green? Where's my green on the bucket? Hello? Obviously, I'll get that. I can live without the bucket for now. I kind of want to try the Zimi. All right, so let's test all these. Like, I feel like this could be really good for chip damage. Right? Because the, the Junior's main weapon isn't its strong suit. It takes... It takes... Let's see. One, two... Three, four. Four hits to kill, like, to, to splat something, right? But if you have that torpedo, you already, like, do half the damage. And then this also would be really nasty for chip damage, too. So. Yeah. Can you double torpedo? Uh, let's try. So you can't double up on the torpedo. You can only have one torpedo out at the same time. But like once it's out, like you can really just like go in. Right? Like it could be really fast. Kind of nasty. And then you only need two hits if you get like a direct hit on them, right? Even the indirect, it would take away one of the hits that you need to, to spot someone. It's really gross. This is really gross. Like this kit, <laughs> nasty. All right, so let's try the Kenza. I'm not good with the Luna. But this is basically just the Kenza Luna with a hammer instead of a Baliva Booyah Bomb. So like having having a Fizzy do a little bit of damage could also do a lot for it. And you know, even using the Fizzy Bomb as like a an avenue to swim, kind of like a curling bomb is really useful too, to be able to get close to the enemies. So I think it's definitely useful to have. Yeah, the stamp is not my favorite. And like for me, I have difficulty building special with the Luna. So I feel like I'd never make the stamp actually like happen. <laughs> I'm so bad with the hammer, but not nearly as bad with the hammer as I am with the zip caster. So I think like people immediately saw the zip caster and was like, well, that really sucks. But then I thought about it like it could be really good if you practiced your zip casters and you know exactly where to like launch your zip cast, like say you were like launching your zip. Oh, that's not it. I don't even know how to use zip caster properly. Can I not zip cast up there? Hello? Anyway, I've seen zip casters be able to like fling themselves super high up and like using the range of this, I think it could be kind of deadly. Like all of a sudden you just see like ink pouring on you. I feel like it could be kind of good. Like I I'm thinking specifically like ink blot where people like zip cast all the way up to the top and they, they even see that like one jellyfish there that's like just chilling and painting. And then all of a sudden you just like see ink falling from the sky. I think it could be kind of good. You can get the nasty flanks, but especially if people don't know you're above them and using like most of the, I would say most of the, the things that have zip caster have pretty like, you have to kind of be really up close. But the advantage that the slosher has is that you don't have to be like, you do the same damage here as you would, like, here, right? 
So like if you're really far away and you can like slosh pretty far, I think it could be pretty good. Now I'm not a slosher player and I'm very much not a zip caster player, right? So I can't show you how it's done, but that's my idea. <laughs> All right, um, I want to try, where is it? All right. I thought there's no spray on this weapon. I thought there was supposed to be no spray on this. But there's obviously spray. Like right here, you see that? None of that. <laughs> it's no, it's no, it's no, it's no splash. I feel like it's a better arrow spray. Personally. I'm not sure how I feel about the kit because like point sensors can't do any chip damage. I think this just, yeah, I think it does feel more like a support weapon than anything else. Braze a lot while jumping. Uh, it definitely has like some variability, but I thought it's like benefit was that it doesn't spray. Oh, but you know what? We could use that feature where Sheldon talks about the weapon again. So we, <laughs> we can listen to it. You know, I really should read this because these are all new weapons. It's fine. What could go wrong? Oh, there it is. Wow, it's it's a big swig. It's like a long boy. I love the colors though. The colors are really nice. It's so like, it's big, it's wide, yeah. <laughs> it's so like sad. <laughs> but can I roll? Wait, I can't even roll somebody? You roll really fast. Maybe it's just for painting the ground. I feel like I'm, I'm rolling with a carbon. The vertical flick, let's see. It is pretty vertical. Like, I think I could probably hit the back one from like here. If I could aim. Uh, I mean, it, it has a pretty significant range. Yeah, I think it's for painting. I mean, yes, it's good for... You know what? I think it could be good for comms that also do chip damage. Like, I, I feel like a lot of the devs in this game have really, like leaned into the chip damage strat because it like encourages teamwork. What has a soda cup? Oh <gasps> wow it's Baja Blast Cool. Oh it's because it's a big swig roller. Oh my god. Yeah that's fair Ram. So I think a lot of the, the weapons, the new weapons especially are designed to, to do the chip damage thing. Which is cool. Like there's nothing wrong with that at all. I feel like this charges just as fast as a squiffer. I think this is really neat. I like this weapon a lot. I think that, like, I didn't, a squiffer's okay in this game. It's not my favorite thing. What's its range? Let's see. For, for the big swig roller, I could hit the back one from about here, right? Oh, I can definitely hit the back one if I could actually aim. What about this way? I'm, I think I'm just shy from this line. All right, let's try charger. Hold up. Let's try like a, let's try squiffer first. It has a longer range than a squiffer. Splat charger. <laughs> back up, back up, back up. It's like just shy of a splat charger. Very, very cool. Okay, we can recon the new map. Let's do that. Now we have another page of maps. So it looks like you can come out from the right side here or you can come out from the mid over here. And Splat Zones is kind of on the left side from when you exit. Wait, is that the Splat Zone? This? This little tiny box is the Splat Zone? <laughs> Why is it so small? Okay, y'all, first... We get things like Eel Tail Alley, which is the absolute biggest splat zone. This is this. <laughs> Wait, let's see. Do you need to paint the middle box? No. It's so tiny. That zone is like a third of an undertow, I think. But you can like, 
I guess you could do that and kind of flank. I think that could be a, like a, a valid tactic to kind of jump off from the top over here. Definitely something to look out for. Can you go into the enemy base? I think they changed something about Yield Tail too. You cannot go into the enemy base. Not exactly. I want to chill in the sauna, like... Okay, so you can fall in. That is valid. And they got like little, little... Little blowfish... Pufferfish things over there. It is a really small map. Kind of surprising, honestly. I wonder if tower is going to be as painful. Let's see. All right, let's see. So it looks like the front doesn't change very much or like the, the starting point. Um, man, what are the tower controls that have the, the, zo the zone, hello, the checkpoint like right there? I guess they can't shoot you directly from this because it's a sign. I, yeah, I think so too, Redfur. I, but to be fair, a lot of tower controls, uh, I think, feel like that too. Then it is very pretty. I do like the aesthetic of the map a lot. Well, yeah, honestly, like I could look at this map all I want, but, and I could like predict about what is gonna happen. Oh, there's like a sponge over here to help us defend. But it, it really will come down to actually just playing the map. I'm not super hopeful about Rainmaker, but am I ever super hopeful about Rainmaker? All right, let's see. Wow, the checkpoint is right there. <laughs> Come on, man. Wait, why is the checkpoint so close? <laughs> hey, Reverend. Like, I could just... <laughs> so close. <laughs> the checkpoint! <laughs> okay, I think Rainmaker is gonna be a really bad time. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, this I think is a little bit better. Like, you really have to climb uphill for this. But man, is there other paths? Oh, there's this, there's a step that everyone's gonna take for some reason. What else? Is that the only paths? Those are the only paths. It's just right there, right? I think this is gonna be problematic for people, but again, we don't know until we play it. it maybe it's just, it's there to be as chaotic as Mahi Mahi is, you know? <laughs> I honestly, I kind of dig the chaos too. I like chaos. All right. Let's see where those clams spawn. This is a huge choke point. This is gonna be not the most fun thing to push up <laughs> on. I think you'd have to like utilize things like a crab or whatever to, or bombs up here. It looks very small. New one. It doesn't look like the worst, but it definitely, uh, it feels very cramped for what it's worth. I think it looks nice. It has really good aesthetic. Oh, what? I wonder what that's for, actually. So how? Oh, you can push around this way. But like, aren't we always like told not to use the rails? <laughs> um, rails are usually easy to camp. You want to use, I feel like using rails is most beneficial when you know that the other team isn't looking at you. But, like, people could just sit here and, like, wait for you. Like, they could just be watching you here, you know? Yeah, so it's very situational. There are times where you might want to opt to use that, but for the most part, you want to, like, be very wary about using the rails. It looks like there's a lot of clams in the mid, like uh, Mahi. <laughs> I haven't checked out Flounder yet. It's so mini compared to original spot one, but it brings back a lot of memories. Look how tiny that button is! But at least there's two of them. It's so baby! It's a baby flounder! Flounder looks like it's fun though. It's gonna be fun. There's a lot of like different avenues of climbing and I think that is gonna be really fun for like variation, you know? Like literally every wall is paintable. It got cut in half and then the remaining half got like squished together. <laughs> literally, I think with like one swing of the blob, you could like paint half of one zone and half of the other zone. All right, let's see what... The of course the checkpoint's like right there. I wonder if they do that purposefully to put the checkpoint like right in front of the tower. Hmm. It's pretty straightforward, this tower. But you could use this rail right here to hop on the tower, which could be good for defense. But you really have to like look at every angle because you know all the walls are painted and people could just be waiting there. They're so cute. Look at the little eels. The little eels guy. I want this guy. It's like a tuna. Driving one of those track, like, like, like construction vehicles in like food packaging plants. Forklift. 
That's the word. But without the fork. Alright, I remember how painful Raymaker was in first Flounder Heights. Wait, you can literally just Hello? You can wait! I feel like that's gonna be the play. Cause like, oh, I'm just gonna push it this way. Well, do I even want to look at clams? Is that what's gonna happen? Bro, there's like a whole clam right here. Okay, that's uninkable. Wait, I wanna see something. How far away can you throw it? Like, can you throw it from like up here? Can you like throw it from over here? Hello? What is the absolute farthest place I can throw this from and still get the clam in? Uh, I think maybe it's like more precise than I thought, but you can do it. It is doable. It's pretty funny. I actually think this is hilarious. Let's see how it's gonna turn out though. 